And more scrutiny surrounding Tuacon High School in Washington County. State education leaders asking if enough is being done to protect its students. Chris Jones and our Beyond the Books investigative team continue their investigation into the beleaguered charter school. Yeah, last night, Beyond the Books addressed some issues concerning governance surrounding Tuacon High School. Tonight, we take a look at the physical safety of the students who attend. Tuacon opened its doors as the first charter high school in Utah. At any given time, strangers are roaming the halls of Tuacon High School with access to the students who attend there. Also interacting with actors and actresses and, and people who... Um, you know, we don't know. Student body president Gabriela Merida is concerned. The Tuacon Arts Center, who shares facilities with the high school, regularly rents out rehearsal space to professional productions. Gabriela says the Hafen Theater and surrounding classrooms are regularly bustling with actors rehearsing and changing clothes. Like when you're going to the social studies class, you see these actors and actresses like in their dressing rooms. State law requires teachers and staffers who work in schools to undergo background checks. But those who rent space at Tuacon do not have to. And they have access to the building and the students. The safety questions have received interest from the Utah State Charter School Board. They issued this letter to the school addressing a range of concerns, including personnel without adequate background checks who have unmonitored access to students during school hours. And I think that also kind of presents a danger to some students. They've got to perform in the classroom as well as on the stage. Guys, officials from Tuacon High School have been asked to address the Utah State Charter School Board at their next meeting in April. They'll look at not only these issues of safety, but also the way that they run and manage the school. Guys, back to you. Since Beyond the Books began this investigation, they did hear from a group of concerned teachers at the school. More on their concerns in the Beyond the Books section at KUTV.com. And if you have a tip on an education story you'd like our Beyond the Books team to investigate, go to KUTV.com and we'll respond to you.